<laughs> all right guys all right so here we are continuing on with our build so we're moving right along we've got the gasifier piece uh, completed and leak tested we've got the heat exchange uh, assembled leak tested so now that we're uh, at a critical juncture where we've got to join the gas exit from the heat exchange to the cooling tube assembly now this is where we've just got this sort of dry fit this isn't welded in place you want to you want to build the cooling tube assembly which we just completed and we just leak tested it and we fit it on here as a dry fit and we want to make sure that this is lining up perfectly we got to have good metal on metal connection from the outlet coming off of the heat exchange to here we don't want to have any offsets any gaps in here and then we're going to put a high temperature silicone connector on here as well so this is a very important uh, matchup here. This got to be a good, strong metal-to-metal -metal connection. Once we get that, you can actually do this to, to measure where this hole needs to be, which is what we did. We, 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 we put a dry fit here, we measured where this is, then we drilled this hole out and we welded this nipple on. So you want to do this uh, uh, fitting, dry fit on it, uh, and not just go through all the way through. We can't do the external insulation around the reactor and around the heat exchange until we do this because we're going to add basically a one inch uh, liner around the outside of this. So we had to have this in place before we can add the liner. So well, now that we've got this fit up, you can see here we've got this elbow on here tacked. So now we can take it off. We can do a full clean weld on this. Uh, and we know it's going to be good when we put it back together. And then we're going to put the uh, insulation cover on the uh, heat exchange and on the reactor next. All right. Good job.